Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and today I'm going to be reviewing the Nike Precision 4. So this shoe is going for a very, very cheap price of 70 bucks and this was Donnie Boy's favorite shoe of all time. No, I'm just kidding. But he really, really liked this shoe and uh, for 70 bucks, he said it performed very well and it was one of his favorite budget shoes last year, right? So if you guys want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. I went to see like if it held up, like Donny Boy said it was really good, so I was very, very curious. I, I didn't play in the Precision 3, but the Precision 3 was basically the same exact shoe, they just changed the upper. Like the traction and the midsole is pretty much the same. And um, like 70 bucks, that's that's super cheap, right? But anyways, let's get it started off with the Tractiones. And like I said, they're using the same exact traction pattern as the 3, and of course, hopefully, they're using the same exact traction compound as the three. So there is a pivot point here where the ball of your foot is and like a modified herringbone traction pattern that kind of like ripples throughout the entire forefoot. The heel is more just circles, I guess. And it is slightly decoupled. It's not a decoupled midsole. I'd say it's just a decoupled outsole. And the traction is really good. You know, uh, the rubber is super hard. And um, sorry, I forgot to mention, I only played outdoors. There's no indoor courts available yet. I will update you guys if I'm able to play on the indoor court, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen for a long, long time. But anyways, yeah, playing on an outdoor court, traction was really good, but usually traction on an outdoor court is like really good, right? <laughs> if you're playing on that rough type of surface, most shoes are gonna be able to grip. Durability seems very, very good. The rubber is super hard and the grooves are deep. So durability, I mean, you can play only outdoors in this shoe and you should be fine. I was trying this on my wood floors and it seemed to be biting a little bit. Yeah, there is a lot of dog hair. And of course, it's, that's because of Reina. She sheds a lot, right? Say hi. So, uh, but anyways, yeah. So there's a nice little squeak and all that uh, on my wooden floors. So, and if it's anything like what Donnie Boy said, it's probably gonna be a very, very good traction pattern. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. Super smooth in this shoe. You have a little bit of heel compression. You have a nice curved shape here in the heel as well as in the forefoot. Look at that. And a lot and a lot of flex as well. Um, I, there is no midfoot chain plate though. And for the cushion, it just says resilient foam midsole. That's what they always say for like budget shoes. It's probably just Phylon. But there is a nice little subtle compression in the heel. There's absolutely nothing in the forefoot. This shoe is super low to the ground, right? If you want good court feel, this is a great cushioning setup. I would say it's more just a responsive cushioning setup. So if you want a cushion setup that doesn't do a lot, but then it's pretty nice comparing it to like the, you know, the Kyrie Low 2 or the Kyrie Low 1, where it's like those were super stiff foams. This one actually has just a little bit, right? So impact protection is still not great, but it's okay, right? Especially for like heel strikes. And then when you're just walking around, you can't really feel the foam like that much. But then when you start playing, when you once you start running and jogging around, you can definitely feel just a little bit from the cushioning setup. So when you get the shoe, don't expect a lot, don't expect anything crazy, but it's just a nice little cushioning setup. All right, moving on to the materials. So they're classifying this as a knit material. It definitely doesn't feel as cheap as it looks. And like from the shoe, the shoe looks kind of cheap, right? But then like if you feel it with your hand, it actually feels really nice. It's soft, it's pretty thin. It feels very minimal on foot. It conforms to your foot very well, you know, and it's comfortable on foot. I would just say like this lining, you know, the lining that they're using is cheap, you know, because they need to cut costs. But like, it's really, really nice. And it kind of reminds me of the CP3.12 where they, they use a flattening material that's super nice, but then it's a super cheap shoe. So it was only $100. So this is only $70 shoe and they're using a knit and it's very, very nice. Uh, obviously the fuse overlays like the ones here found in the toe as well as here on the laces. It's not very high quality, but you know, what you expect from a $70 shoe, right? So overall materials are super nice. Here in the ankle area, there is very minimal padding actually. Uh, the only type of padding that there is is kind of like on this heel tab right here. But other than that, throughout the entire ankle area, it's not that well padded. Moving on to the fit, it's a really nice fit for me. I would say it's a little long though, around like a centimeter of length for me. So it's not like my, my foot's right at the edge. There's a little bit of space, but it's that's that's okay. You know, uh, I'm fine with that. The toe space is pretty snug and width wise, I would say it's around normal width. So it's a very good fit for me. Just watch out, the textile material does stretch out a lot. So um, if it's a little loose at first, 
it'll get even looser. So that's what happened to me. Like at first it was a really nice fit. It was kind of snug, but now it's a little bit more loose and more broken in. So the, the fit isn't as snug as I would like it to be. So I feel like I could have gone down half the size because I am a little worried. I feel like that might make the, the length a little too snug, but um, I feel like I could have gotten away with it, right? If you have a wide foot, I would suggest going up half the size. And this shoe is really easy to put on. You know, the tongue opens up a lot and you have a nice heel tab. As far as supporting lockdown goes, I had no issues, right? Um, I, I thought I was gonna have issues with lateral containment, like especially here, cause like in the KD Tray 5A, there was really nothing here. But this material is a lot more supportive than the KD Tray 5H. So that's why I feel like I didn't feel any type of like lateral containment issues. Uh, this shoe is a low, so you don't really feel any type of ankle support. And you have a little bit of an outrigger right here. You know, it's a super wide base. You're really low to the ground, so uh, lateral stability was good as well. So supporting lockdown, I didn't really have any issues. As far as the weight goes, this shoe is super light. I'm sure as you guys have already guessed, right? Probably like nine ounces? Yeah, 9.98 ounces, pretty much 10 ounces. Yeah, 10.12 ounces. Okay, that's a, that's a good amount of difference, like 0.2 ounces, right? But anyways, yeah, super light feeling shoe, very, very lightweight. It's that cheap light though. Like the overall quality of the shoe isn't very great, but you know, it's minimal, lightweight. You feel fast when you're playing in the shoe. So you can't really ask for much more from a $70 shoe, right? Uh, moving on to the ventilation. Ventilation was okay. You know, uh, if, if you blow on it, there's not a lot of airflow through it, but it is a textile material which wicks away the moisture, so it, it's not bad. You know, it's not super hot or anything, but not great. And then moving on to the aesthetics, I like this shoe. This it's a pretty good looking shoe. Like if you kind of squint your eyes and you're kind of far away, it doesn't look super cheap or anything. And I like this colorway. It's uh, all black with this gold swoosh. So wrapping things up, seventy dollars. This is a great performing shoe and I was surprised at how good it feels on foot, right? If you get over like, you know, the cheap fuse material, this cheap lining that they're using and like just how cheap it feels in hand, uh, it feels really good on foot and once you start playing, you kind of like forget about all that and you're like, oh, you just ball and you, you never really have to worry about the shoe and it feels nice, it's comfortable, lightweight and all that. So um, for 70 bucks, I feel like even if this was like a $100, $110 shoe, I would still say it's a good deal, right? So it, it's a $70 shoe, 100% get it. And I, I saw some colorways on sale right before filming this video. Some of the colorways for the shoe were like 50, 55 bucks. I would 100% suggest this shoe. It's definitely worth it for the price and it's a great performer. So again, if you guys want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.